Hi, I'm Adrienne Eigner at Eigner Studios in Charlottesville, Virginia. I am on location right now and would love to talk with you about the V-flats and the tote bags that come with them. So the tote bag is pretty see-through, pretty thin, it's black. And then it has this big logo on the front. which is kind of disappointing. They don't show you what the bags are that they come with. They don't protect them at all. They collect lint, they look dirty, and they have a big logo on the front, which I was really disappointed with. But trying to find a bag for them is not gonna be easy. So let's talk about the white. It only folds on the white side on the outside. And the wear, I've had them two years. And that's the folded side. So for the most part, this one's not too bad, but the Velcro doesn't work. So when you go to set them up, as you use them, you learn that the Velcro just doesn't work anymore. And you have to set up See how it doesn't want to stand anymore because the problem is that the velcro on the bottom doesn't attach anymore to itself so you know as you you move you want to fall quite often it falls so you want somebody with you uh, because unfortunately it's a flimsy thing that pops up it's great it folds easily uh, it goes back in the bag easily So this is what it looks like in the bag. Big handles. Okay, so let's show the wear on this one. This one has a chunk missing right there. Show the wear on the sides. So that's just the sides, that's always the sides. The white side is always out. And then I noticed today when I got here that the black has a puncture in it just for moving around today. So this does get hurt when you're on location. The videos that they show on their website do you make you feel like you're gonna have a great experience and they're not gonna show anywhere and you know popping up on a downtown mall they're not gonna blow over you're fine just by yourself working with these people no you know uh, the public can knock stuff over and get in your way and wind so as you use these you begin to figure out how do I repair them so I have to figure out how I'm gonna repair them <laughs> But for the most part, I'm happy with them. I use them when I need them. But as you can see, it's just a constant fight to keep it up, to keep it working. I do, for the most part, love them. My friends have said that have made their own, that they don't like the ones they made and they wish they had mine. So at the moment, I don't know of any other alternatives for you. I am going to keep these for a while longer and hopefully I can figure out how to repair them. And if I repair them, I will tell you what I did in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.